bringing refugees to our country makes us feel better. I assume Mr. Hetfield will give us some warm stories about that, and it does make us feel better. But the point of humanitarian protection of refugees is not to make us feel better. It's to assist as many people as possible with whatever resources we've decided to devote to this purpose. And what we found, we did research on this, and we found that it costs 12 times as much to resettle a refugee from Syria, from the Middle East, in the United States, as it does to provide for them in their own region. I mistakenly thought that attitudes and signs like Irish need not apply, no coloreds, no Jews or dogs allowed, were ugly relics buried in the past, but apparently not. Governors are clearly saying openly, no Syrian Muslims are welcome in my state. One governor even said, from my home state of New Jersey, no Syrian orphans under five are welcome either. The refugees who arrive in the U.S. have undergone extensive security vetting prior to setting foot on U.S. soil. If I were a terrorist, would I say, well, I'm going to go to a camp, hope that the U.N. will refer me to the, uh, the system, go through this extensive process for two years, and in two or three years, if I'm lucky, I might make it as a refugee. I don't think so. Most of the uh, terrorists, <clears throat> it looks like at this point all of the terrorists in Paris were Europeans. I uh, have no doubt that USCIS officials, State Department, FBI, and the rest are doing their best. Sometimes, I have no doubt, they will in fact smoke out uh, people who are lying or cheating. I'm sure it happens all the time. But um, as uh, Ms. Strack said just uh, last month to the Senate, more than 90 percent of Syrian refugee applicants are being approved. How stringent really can a vetting process be when more than 90 percent of the people are being approved? We believe strongly that by the time a refugee is brought here, we are bringing some of the most vulnerable people, giving them a second chance at life, and we have screened out anyone about whom we have any question. I'm very worried about terrorists. I think we should focus on terrorists. I think we should prevent terrorists from coming to the United and States. Don't you think Syrian refugees might someday become terrorists? I think the odds of a refugee being a terrorist are very, very small. There's a great reality that if we get it wrong, something bad could happen. And you have to balance the risk with the potentialities of something bad happening. So uh, that that's what that's what I'm trying. We can't do it this morning, but you can't say there's no risk. And I appreciate the fact that nobody's tried to say that. We all agree that we are dealing with an enemy that affirmatively wants to do whatever bad thing they can do to us. And, and I, I just think it's put the American people in a really, really tough position.